A big deal for a tiny town of Sheffield, Mass, when hundreds of people reported seeing something strange up in the sky. Could it be alien visitors? Well, as News 10's Mary Wilson tells us, a half a century later, people are still talking about it. The idea of flying saucers first landed in the 1940s and has invaded popular culture ever since. There's been countless reported sightings, but only one has made it into state historical records. I've always believed it from day one. I think there's something out there. I believe. Something happened here, and it's not something you can make up. Labor Day 1969. So we were coming out of that bridge. A nine year old Thomas Reed is in the back seat of his mom's station wagon when the family sees a glowing orb, then hovering three stories above a cornfield. It was massive. It was like metallic. I know how crazy it sounds, right? But I sat there, I, I saw it myself. He describes it as a giant turtle shell. His mom pulls off into a clearing, and then comes a period of time no one can account for. We have weird memories of that night. And my, when we came to, if you will, my mother and grandmother were reversed in the car, and the car was off. 50 years later, Reed remains embedded in the paranormal world, sharing his story on TV shows like Ancient Aliens and building up the park dedicated to his encounter. A 5,000 pound cement marker memorializes the off world incident as both historically significant and true, complete with the signature of Governor Charles Baker. The formal recognition came from the Great Barrington Historical Society in 2015, a decision then director Debbie Opperman later called a mistake and a professional embarrassment. Today, the society is run by Robert Kroll. Something happened, which is true, and remarkable that something happened because so many people re reported something happening. But what it is, we don't know. Tom Reed and his family were traveling along this covered bridge when they saw that bright floating object. It wasn't until the morning after when they realized they weren't alone and many more had seen something in the sky that couldn't be explained. WSBS radio got panic calls, people calling saying, my God, something's going on here. What do you think happened? Judge Kevin Titus of the 30th District Court signed and sealed the records by the governor and the historical society, declaring them uncontested lawful documents. But the alleged encounter and the park itself are not without controversy. The town of Sheffield last year ordering the massive marker be moved because of its proximity to a public pathway. Reed says the land belongs to a farmer who he rents it from. The town has gone quiet on the dispute, but skeptics remain. Why did they bring him back? If he was abducted 50 years ago. Others concede his unwavering story rings true. I believe in him. You're probably out there. Hard to say. Probably. The park is gaining support, accepting donations of stone, <laughs> weeping willow trees, solar lights, and benches. One of them even sponsored by Dean Hagland, who played Ringo in the X Files. This is kind of like for everybody that has thought they had seen something or did see something. That this is all for them. Believing in aliens can leave you feeling alienated, but not in this judgment free park. I'm going to go out on a limb and say they're probably criticized, and now they've got a spot that says, look, you know, we never wavered. We stuck together, and together as a community, we made history. In Sheffield, I'm Mary Wilson, News 10, ABC. And it could be a good tour spot for the community as well.